Moi, Turku Yoga Guide here. In this session, we will start the closing sequence that happens down on the floor. So no more standing asanas for you. The first pose that we will explore is called Urtvadanurasana. And we will also continue with its counter pose Pashimottanasana. And in this session, you might want to use a block. And the block will help you to connect with your pelvic floor with Mula Panda and Udhyana Panda. So the closing sequence starts so you're lying on your back. Bend your knees and try to bring your heels as close to your sitting bones, to your buttocks as possible. And now you can place the block between your legs, between your inner groin. And with the inner thighs, press against the block. Try to reach your arms so you're holding your ankles. You can also hold your heels or just place the palms on the floor and try to reach your fingertips towards your legs. I will start by arching the lower back. So try to lift your lower back as much off the floor as possible. And then press your feet firmly on the floor, press your arms and your palms firmly on the floor, bring your shoulder plates together, and now start elevating and lifting your hips off the floor, and at the same time press against the block. So you are arching your back, and this is the preparation for Urtva Danurasana. Stay here for five breaths, and after the fifth exhalation, allow your hips back to the floor. If you want to try the next option, you can bring your hands next to your ears so your fingertips are pointing in the same direction as your feet. And then try to bring your elbows so the elbows are pointing up to the ceiling as are your knees. Arch your back again, press the feet firmly on the floor, lift the hips off the floor, and now press your hands firmly on the floor so you can tilt your head and bring the top of the head to the floor. Make sure your elbows are not outwards, but try to bring your elbows as much in as possible and squeeze your block. Stay here for five breaths. And if you want to continue a little bit further, try to bring some weight to your hands and try to straighten your elbows, squeeze your block. And this is the Urtva Danurasana. And try to look between your thumbs. Stay here for five breaths and then slowly bring the head back to the floor and then bring your hips all the way down. Then you can remove the block, bend your knees to your lower belly and roll backwards and forward. And at some point, just roll all the way up to a sitting, straighten your legs and now we will do the counter pose. So instead of arching your back, now you will be rounding your back. So try to reach towards your toes, hold on to your chins, inhale, lengthen your spine, look up. And as you exhale, bring your chin to your chest, round your upper back, round your lower back and fold over your legs and try to drop the head down. And stay here for five in and exhalations. After the fifth exhalation, inhale again, lengthen your spine and look up. Exhale and stay. And these were the two first poses of the closing sequence. Urtva Danurasana and Pashimottanasana. And with these two poses, you are stretching first the front side of your body. And as you are stretching the front side of your body, at the same time you are strengthening the back muscles, the back side of your body. And then you do the same thing but in counter way. So you are rounding your back, stretching and releasing the muscles of your back, and then activating the muscles in front of your body. That means your lower belly, especially Udhyana Bandha, the lower belly muscles. So in this way, you simultaneously strengthen and make your body more flexible. First on one side, that's the front side, the east side of your body, and then on the opposite side of your body, the back side of your body or the west side of your body. And in the closing sequence, this is a theme that is repeated over and over again. 
First you will do a back bend and then you will do the counter pose and that's the forward bend. And then again a counter pose for that, the back bend and then again the forward bend. And in this way you make your body little by little more flexible in both directions. And you can repeat the first pose, Urtvaden Urasana, at least three times or even five times if that feels comfortable for you. And then take your time to stay in the counter pose, in the Paschimottanasana, as long as you need to, at least five counts or even more, eight or ten or fifteen counts, if that's what you need to balance and harmonize your body. In the next session, we will explore some of the shoulder stands. Kiitos, moi moi!